we welcome you all to learn together today we are going to present the topic formal and informal education ramya do you know what is education yes pontrani education is a purposeful activity directed at achieving certain aims such as transmitting knowledge or fostering skills and character traits these aims may include the development of understanding rationality kindness and honesty and the psychology says that education is the modification of behavior and the famous psychologist john dewey says that education is the process of reconstruction of experiences so you mean education is the modification of behavior and overall character development you are absolutely right pontrani ramya as we saw the definition of education do you know that there are three types of education i have heard about it so do you know about pontrani yes ramya they are formal education informal education and not formal education yes pontrani you are right in structured education system that runs from primary school to university and includes specialized programs for vocational technical and professional training comes under formal education oh so you mean the kindergarten school and college everything comes under formal education exactly which means we the students of zensevis college of education are part and parcel of formal education school college i just can't imagine how we are all are sitting at a place for almost 8 hours a day yeah but schools and colleges are the most important place to gain knowledge mm, not only knowledge as we saw in the definition it is a overall development or modification of behavior modification of behavior seriously but i can't understand what this modification of behavior means modification of behavior means learning and practicing good listening skills development of uh, empathy apply adapt learning principles when sharing information and build an accountability etc so you mean the way we behave in class respect our teachers pay heed to the words of elders respecting parents everything comes under the modification of behavior exactly pontrani oh what you are saying is right but ramya do you know what interests me more it is the informal type of education mm, is it so but why because you can learn anywhere at any time informal education is a general term for education that can occur outside of a structured curriculum the goal is to provide learners with the tools they need to eventually reach more complex material it can refer to various forms of alternative education such as home schooling autodidactism which means self teaching and youth work yes you are right it is very fascinating pondrani but ramya which of these two do you think is more effective mm, i think formal education should be more effective but why i think informal education is the best so listen me now let me tell you because formal education plays a central role in modern civilization for important reason for moving to formal forms of education is due to sheer quality of knowledge to be passed on which requires both the formal setting and well trained teachers to be transmitted effectively but don't you think it is equally possible in informal education yes it is possible pontrani but in formal education more emphasis is put on grasping general pattern of observing and imitating particular behaviors it means our teachers will be monitoring our behaviors our learning styles so they can give better and effective teaching and it is also beneficial for the students future advancement in order to make the career more valuable and systematic in a formal manner so what you basically mean is 
formal education is classroom based education very smart pontrani you are grasped the point but just imagine learning in informal education where you don't have to get up early go to school or college you can learn at your own speed without spending full 8 hours at a classroom and just how fun that would be mm what you are saying is also right pondrani yes but do you know why i prefer informal education more why it is because informal education is also called as practical based education it means the child will be learning through real life experiences the informal type satisfy the main curiosity of the child by incorporating certain practical examples to gather more information data and knowledge about the appropriate situation hmm and what else it enhances the critical thinking level with the help of conversation exploration association and enlargement oh this is what you mean learning anywhere at any time exactly oh for but at last which is the best for this question i think the answer with both because formal education is very essential for each people in their career as it enhances their learning power positively in well structured procedure in order to increase their academic skills as early as possible and informal education is important because it determines the real life or practical based experience for increasing their intellectual efficiency and beneficial to the child friends so did you all enjoy learning the types of education with us but sadly it is time for us to check out and, and let, let us meet you again, again with a brand new topic until, until then, then this, this is ramya ponrani signing, signing off, off.